Hey everybody, I have been talking about building a new setup that I will be creating all of my art at for a while now, and finally I finished building it. So I wanted to show you guys how I built it step by step, and the first step to doing that is what I'm gonna be talking about today, which is building a 3D model. Now I'm using SketchUp free, and this is not an ad for SketchUp at all, but you can go to sketchup.com and you just click on products, you go to SketchUp free, click on start modeling, and then you can start making a 3D model for your setup or whatever it is that you're trying to build. And it's not too tough. So um, this is the 3D model that I created for my setup. And this is where I'm sitting right now. And it's dope. In order to have this desktop space, I also wanted to have my keyboard tray below the desk. And right now my keyboard is above on top of the desk. I modeled these little wings here to hold up the keyboard tray and I don't need them. Um, I have gone ahead to Amazon and I picked up myself some keyboard rails. So these rails will hold my keyboard tray below the desk. I also have an above, above, above shelf here that I want to put up but it's kind of a little bit tough because it's so long. It's like nine feet long and you can measure it using the tape measurer and it's nine feet, eight inches and three quarters. Now I have a friend who's into woodworking and he may be able to point me in the right direction here, but a lot of materials will uh, start bowing if you have a material that's continuously that long. So I may need something that I have to break up, but I'll see what my friend Alex tells me because he's the one who helped me build this whole thing uh, from scratch. So I built it out of MDF and in order to do that, I took one of these cabinets and whoop, I'm in the wrong file here. This one. Okay. I created these, uh, four foot by eight foot sheets that are to represent the sheets of MDF that they have available at the home Depot. And I laid out all of the individual pieces that make up this shelf on top of these sheets here, like so. So that way I had a nice little template that I could follow and this was going to tell me where I needed to make my cuts and um, it came in handy. I printed these off um, and I had some pieces of paper with these images on it and it helped me to organize what I was doing when I was cutting the MDF in real life. I did purchase this L desk by the way and the desk space just wasn't enough. I was really happy with how it looked and everything, but the desk space was so small. So compared to the new uh, desk here, I, I have so much more space now. So it's really gonna be nice to be able to just set up all of my art materials here and just draw. I've got room for lighting on either side. I can put my computer at more of an angle, which I've done here in real life. Um, I did model the computer too, by the way. Um, and I'll show you a cool thing about this program is that you can actually take items and you can take out the individual pieces. I can even take my motherboard out and then beyond that, I can even take out my RAM sticks. So it's a pretty cool feature that you can have in this program. I did spend some extra time familiarizing myself with how the program works by building my consoles, which is a big part of this. So I have, uh, couple of i have so many video game consoles that were in the way on the l desk it's really nice to have everything organized and in their in its own space where it's meant to be um a retro on the right i have modern stuff on the left and you know netflix and all that kind of thing if i want to watch netflix and whatever uh, i just like to be able to have that stuff on hand where i can just take a break i usually take 20 minute breaks and that's where i like my retro games to come in but at the end of the day i might play something modern and just like spend more time and zone out although right now it's the end of the day it's 2 27 a.m and i'm doing this but i digress i'm going to merge all of this type of content into one project coming up i'm going to combine all of these different interests of woodworking, um, the PC build, and art into one project that will be an arcade setup. So I will be building an arcade. I'm going to build the body of the arcade out of potentially MDF. I will put the wiring in myself. I will put in all the buttons, um, clicky buttons, by the way. So that will merge the computer build kind of idea. 
and then I will be painting it. I will be drawing on it, I will be painting it, I will be decorating it, and you'll get art time-lapse videos out of that as well. So that's all of the interests combined, including the gaming setup, which is right here. So that's four interests in one project, and that's gonna be a big part of what I wanna do on the channel. Really, that's one of my main passions, not just art, but how various mediums and passions can cross over. And what is the crossover between, say, music and drawing, or woodworking and building a computer or whatever. Anyways, guys, I think that's enough, and I'm gonna get out of here right now because it's now 2.32 and I gotta go to bed. See you later. Bye.